Oh, hey. Hey. I know. I told you I would be here next week, and it is next week, and I am here. I'm gonna keep this intro short and sweet because, number one, I have COVID and my throat hurts. But I just also didn't have an intro because I was playing this game in one setting So this is just the second half of that. So what happened in the first part? I'm already fucking up this little kid's life. What's new? Um, did we expect anything else? I think I'm making all the wrong decisions. I keep telling you guys that I want to tell the truth in this game But I keep going against my word <laughs> and I keep lying on accident without realizing it I don't know. I feel like I'm already in a deep hole. And if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, I have part one of me playing Life is Strange True Colors. Um, I'll link it in the description if you didn't watch that one. Because if you're about to watch this one, this is not going to make any sense if you didn't watch the last one. So make sure that you watch that and then come back to this video. So where did we leave off last time? So I think that everything's going great, but then my brother and Mac get into a fight. A fist fight? Because Mac thought that my brother was sneaking around with Mac's girlfriend, who was the girl in the store in that little shop in the first scene. But that's not the case. My brother is not, my brother is a good man. He would never do that. So Mac's crazy. And Mac just comes through swinging literally and emotionally. I had to absorb all of his anger because he was so angry at so many different things. So I absorbed his anger so hard that I started to get angry and then I beat his ass. Um, and that's pretty much- oh, and then I- after that, my brother got mad at me because once I was done beating Mag's ass, my brother was like, Alex! And then I turn, and then I punched my brother in the face, but I didn't mean to. That was not intentional. And now my brother's mad at me, he won't talk to me, and now I'm feeling really isolated and misunderstood because no one gets me and no one understands. I hope you guys enjoy. But first, today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. So it's summertime, y'all, and you know what that means. Summer concerts are here, baby, and SeatGeek has all of the tickets. If you happen to live under a rock, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets to live events super simple. I've got the app right on my phone, and it's by far the easiest and best way to buy tickets. With so many concerts and festivals happening right now, you don't want to miss out, okay? The FOMO is real. I'm talking about our boy Harry Styles. Um, he's on tour right now. There's also our boy Posty, Post Malone. Um, our other boy Jack Harlow. We love Jack Harlow. The Weeknd. I'm a m star boy. He's also going on tour and so much more in that rhyme. I am so excited to see literally everyone that I just listed, but most importantly, our boy Harry. I'm gonna see him for like the 20th time and I'm so excited. I'm also gonna see Post Malone for the first time. My brother, he is everything to me. SeatGeek wants to make sure that you are getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots, okay? They're lurking. You just gotta look for them. Green means a good deal, red means a bad deal. It's like kindergarten. Not too hard to figure out. And don't you worry, pumpkin. Mommy's got the hookup. Just use code Sarah for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. I got you. And let me repeat that one more time in case you're not listening. I'm waiting. Okay. That's $20 off your first purchase using promo code Sarah. Make sure that you scroll down and click the link in the description so you can download the app. Thank you so much SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. Who's this queen? I love that. It's a falling star. Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna say it's falling just because I'm not mentally doing the best. Or maybe I should just say I don't know and keep it vague. I'm trying to be real though. I'm just gonna be real. <laughs> falling pretty damn hard. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, I guess. But it's amazing to be here. Was that the right move? I don't know. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. He's a great kid. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate Same. that. He's my favorite person. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. Aww. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. Ew, I hate that word, supper. I'm sorry, I can't. I hate it. Supper? Let's not. It's dinner. Supper. It's time for supper. No, no, no. Ooh, yeah, let's check up on her again. How's she feeling? She okay? So I'm short staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. Oh, come Over on. Do not make me work. A server? Uh, I'll go with Gabe's story. Maybe not as long as that, but yeah, I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like No, it. I actually don't want to at so, all. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. I'm sorry, Ducky? Steph over here. There's a table in the back that needs clearing also. No, don't make me do this. Food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. Girl, why? Really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. I just got here, and you're making me work. Am I getting paid I for this shit? <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Let's go, Ducky. My dad was <laughs> Can I get you two anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. Okay. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky, to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired, and this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. Yeah, You're clearly. Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I'm gonna be nice. It's kind of perfect. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. So, like, English, Can I get please? you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. What kind All of right, mushrooms? I'll go put that order in. Thanks. New dialogue unlocked. What is that supposed to mean? Oh shit, I can read his mind right now. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with dad. He's come a long way. Hey dad. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Yeah, I do. Go ahead. Oh shit, me forgetting. Okay. Yeah. Burger with mushrooms. He didn't say cheese. I would have remembered. Um, burger with mushrooms. One burger with mushrooms. Uh-huh. And? A pie... Oh, shit. Pie special <coughs> with fries. One pie special with fries. Yeah, I'm good. 
Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Cool. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Carousing? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Why do I have to do all the shit? Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. Deputy Pike? He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Girl. Still want to hit the trails later this week? You kidding? I've been waiting for this all year. Oh, God. Now Mac's scared. Not Mac. Oh, Jesus. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Girl, go home. Get some Neosporin. Should I talk to him? No, let's read his mind. I love that I can do that. Hello? Idiot. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. At least he's right about something. Yeah. He shouldn't have punched him. Are people not allowed to be in platonic friendships with the opposite sex? Like, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go upstairs. There's just like an orgy up there. All right. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. I just want to find the damn whiskey. Where's the whiskey? Can I take a shot? Wait, isn't this my room? Oh, so... Oh, that's dope. I would assume it's in... Ooh, now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey, though. Okay, I'm trying. Hey! Nope. What? Nothing. Why would it not be there? How does that make any sense? Um... Is it in the couch? The fuck? Girl, move. Why would it be in the couch? Are we animals? <laughs> yeah. I knew it. I'm good. I'm so good. That was quick, too. Usually that shit would have taken me, like, ten minutes. Ew. Found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. I got you. Should I say put in a good word? Yeah. Well, it's my first day working here, so put in a good word for me, okay? <laughs> She's a go-getter. Yeah, duh. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen. A most tenacious oh. detective. We are taking shots. Cheers. Let's go. Yes, bitch. I knew it. Is it spiked? Oh, no. It's spiked, huh? Okay, what table do I need to check on? This one? Why are y'all not talking to each other? Hello? Dude. You really... You re Ew, don't look at my tits. Did you see that? He definitely, like, looked at my tits. Look at him. Ew, look at him. Oh my god, he's literally staring at my titties. 
Oh my god. Listen, girl, you deserve better. He is trash. Ew, stop. Okay. Not them. What table do I need to check on? I'm confused. And who is this? I guess I'll check on Steph. Sure, I know. Alex, right? She's so hot. I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. Yeah, what was that about? Um is that your shot? Who are you sitting with? What are you working on? What do I want to say? What do I want to say? I'll ask her what she's working on. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no. It's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? No, I don't. I have no idea, but everyone's I've talking about it. Before. Live action role play. Exactly. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Why is everyone into that? Would you that? ever want to join us sometime? Oh, God. Um, me in real life, I'd be like, I'll watch. But, you know what? I'm up for anything. I just moved here. I want them to like me. Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. Nerds. I'm kidding. But, like, what are we doing? Who are you sitting so with? are you, um, here with somebody? Or... That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he said- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Wow. Sorry, Jed. I asked. Chad. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. Oh, God. Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? I fucking guess. I'm going to suck at this. Dude, I'm going to be like, on. Harry Styles? Yes. Oh, Jesus. No, I'm going to suck. I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. This is so hipster. I love it. Can you name the song? Name five songs. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. What? I'm, I I'm should good. flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Girl, I don't fucking care. Think of the ch- I have no idea what I'm doing. The fuckadelics? LOL. There's too many! Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no. No animals. Ugh, too bad. Some of these are really <laughs> cute. I know, right? Does the song have a long title? Like, four words or more? Yes. Interesting. Is the band name only one word? It is more than one word. Hmm. Okay, so it's... You've got two questions left. Okay, I'm trying. Um, it's not that one. Does the band name have a person's name in it? Nope. Girl! Okay. Last question. Yeah, all right, I know. Is the band name on the cover? Yep, that's your five. Girl, I don't guess. know. Yeah, 
Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. The band name doesn't have a person's name in it. It's not a one-word band name. The song title is at least four words long. No animals on the cover. The band name is on the cover. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. I'm just gonna go with this one. Please, please, God. Did I get it? <laughs> Did I Fuck. get it? <gasps> nice one. I got it? Yeah. No fucking way. I didn't even... Guess I'm drinking? <laughs> Damn. I got it right. Wait, I love this. It's gonna get messy. We're taking shots. <laughs> and the song is called Shut Up and Kiss Me, so... <laughs> hey. Thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. Wait, that was fun! So, we had a little moment there. Clear the table in the back. Which is... where? This one? <gasps> Don't talk to me! Can I talk to you? No, Mac! What do you want? What do you want? Listen. What happened upstairs was fucked up, right? Yeah, no shit. For both of us. What's your point? Where are you going with this? But Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated at it. I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> Please. You want me to lie? So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. <laughs> you think you can lie to her with your face looking Look, like she's that? she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. You are so toxic. Get out of my face. I don't know, man. She needs to Shit. leave you. What she the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Look at your face. No, it's okay. I hate him. Don't even. Yeah. What were you thinking? Gabe. Where's Gabe? So this has happened before, I'm assuming. Why do you give a shit? <gasps> Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. <sighs> I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation. Oh, or... God. We're done. Oh, oh, yep, yep. It's, it's I'm going to tell the truth. Fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you. Girl, go to therapy. About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. That is not true. Okay. Um, not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. No, he didn't. Oh, God. Were you there too? Oh, I'm going to tell the truth, bitch. I don't care. I do not care. Yeah, I'm calling him out. Fuck Mac. But then also, what if he beats me up for telling the truth? What if he beats me up because she breaks up with him? But that's not my issue. I just can't be alone ever. He's going to jump me. But then what if he beats up my brother even more because she broke up with him and now Mac's nervous that Gabe and her are gonna get together now 
But then if I avoid further trouble, she's just going to be in a toxic, abusive relationship with a very insecure man that needs therapy. Can we all relate? We can. And so I would want someone to tell me the truth, you know what I'm saying? I don't want someone to lie to me, so I'm going to call him out. I, I, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. Yes, bitch. There we go. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Let's lay it down. Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, yep. Listen. What happened to Mac's face? I, I did, did that. that. Yeah. Good. It sounds like he deserved it. Yes, queen. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Yes, of course, bitch. Wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, Fuck you no. fucking idiot? No. Yes. I mean, no, I mean. Alex Chen? <gasps> uh... Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? No. No. Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm going to take you in for questioning. No! 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 What? That's what I get for telling the truth? Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. Yeah. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. Right? <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> what? I'm not following. <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. <gasps> what? Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? Ew, creep. Super weird vibes. Hated that. Don't talk to me ever again. And honestly, shouldn't I have gotten in trouble for that? That was very uncomfortable. I am very glad that I told the truth, though. I think that that was a good move. I'm just going to keep being honest. With everything you want to do? Okay. Besides, I did fuck up by not telling my brother that that kid was going into the mountains. So that kind of fucked up my honesty streak. Uh, yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. And here they are. Speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? Of course, bro. We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Oh, God. Okay. I think that's enough for today. I don't know what kind of place you worked at before, but you got a ways to go. What? I did a great you can't job. Keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Hey. What was that for? We'll see you tomorrow. I did everything okay. that you asked. But Time okay. To talk to Gabe. I feel like I'm doing a great job. I feel like I'm handling myself well. Um, given the uncomfortable circumstances that I'm already faced with, I just got here. Um, I think I'm handling this well. Like, damn, can I take a nap? How's your jaw? How's your jaw? Damn. You're really not gonna Ain't talk I? to me? You're really not gonna talk to me? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... 
Yeah, give me a brewski. It's been a long day. <laughs> I'm gonna drink one too. I... Hidden cooler? Did you rehearse that move? What? Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, yeah, I'm I do. Really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I can kick your ass? That I'm a crazy person? I don't want to say that I'm a crazy person because I don't think that that's true. That I can kick your ass? Yeah, I guess. You know, I never realized what your life must have been like. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. I fought a lot, bro. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. Girl, I just got here. I want to talk to Gabe. What can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Exactly. Oh god. Oh god. Are you kidding me? Tell him about your past. Tell him about your power. Do I want to tell him about my power? Do I trust him yet? Would he think that I'm crazy? I do want to be honest. I want to keep this honesty thing going, but... What if he doesn't believe me? Or I could keep it very surface level right now and just tell him about my past, but that's not me fully opening up to him. But also, it's day one. I'm not going to tell you all about my trauma and shit. I feel like I can trust him. Look at him. He's so sexy. Look at the way he's looking at me. This is weird because he's my brother, but like, you know what I mean? He's giving daddy like he wants to protect me. And I'm obviously distressed. Look at me. I'm like fucking freaking the hell out. I have this power that no one knows and now I finally have my brother here. Okay, I'm just gonna... <sighs> oh god. I'm nervous. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's something... off about me. He's like, no! I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. Oh and shit. This has happened. For a long time. My battery's about to die. Damn it. One sec. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. Yeah. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. Yeah. He wasn't just angry at you, he's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No. I just feel it, bro. He thinks I'm some, like, weird hippie bitch. Which I probably am. No. No one told me that. 
I just feel it. Yeah. He's like, girl, what? You sure it's not just, you know... Delusion? It's not just in my head, Gabe. Yeah. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? You need more beer. <laughs> You're feeling like you need a lot more beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's true most of the time. <laughs> but it doesn't work like that. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. It's called empathy. You're like going inside their heart. Yeah. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> Men are just so flabbergasted. Whoa, what? You can like put yourself in other people's shoes? But I know this is different. Getting beat up and having no friends. Maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just, I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. Yeah, no shit, You bitch. can get in there. I mean, that's, that's really special. I guess. Special? Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? He's so hot, you guys. I'm, like, having a hard time. But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. God, his hair. <sighs> Kidding, that's my brother. That's your brother, that's your brother, that's your brother, that's your brother. <laughs> your brother relax don't make it weird sarah don't make it weird oh when a man just opens up and is when an emotional tell me about the guitar oh shit you found like, it like makes me horny it was like supposed oh my to be god huge surprise surprise he's like validating my feelings okay. <laughs> what do you think i love it i absolutely love it i love it Thank you so much. Of course. I love this little interaction. Oh, come on. oh, hey, dude, what's up? Is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. <sighs> I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, do not leave me alone with him. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? <gasps> Fuck! I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Oh no! Oh no, this is when it gets real. Oh my god, why did I not tell him? Fuck. Okay, I didn't know that the mountain was like that. I don't know. I did not realize that it was that big and snowy, okay? You know what? I just got into town. I'm talking to this weird kid. I thought it was going to be like a chill hike. I didn't know it was going to be like a snowy actual mountaintop. The fuck? If I would have known that, then I would have told my brother because that's sketchy, but damn. I thought it was just going to be like a chill hike. Maybe I wasn't paying enough attention. Damn it! Oh, God. So, the kid's dead. The kid is dead. That's just awesome. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I'm expecting the worst. Ethan? Ethan! 
He's just <laughs> kissing a girl for the first oh, time or something. Up, up. Sitting crisscross applesauce. Aw, that would be cute. Ew, I'm scared. The fact that it's still my first day here. This way. I'm so cute. Look at me. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. Ew, where's my brother? I do not trust you. Uh, how worried should we be? Should I be, I don't know, freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Okay. Any luck? Yeah. Touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're going to postpone tonight's blast. God, I them. suck. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's got to be losing it right now. Ah, oh, damn it. She's tough. Always has been. Are Come you on. kidding me? Let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have said something. Yeah, earlier. I'm sorry. Sorry. I, I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine. Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. Exactly. It's not your fault. Yeah. Still, though. No, exactly. He's around. right. Let he me gets me. Spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. He gets I me. Do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? What am I supposed to do now? <coughs> Safety poster. Okay, Supernova. sorry. Oh, I can run now? Hell yeah. Cool. A murder barn. Yeah. I'm gonna die. Shit, I'm so scared. They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Automatic blasting? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. Why did I not say anything? Oh, wait, let me read his mind real quick. That's so funny that I could do that. Alex, why? Why didn't you? No point in blaming anyone. We just gotta find him fast. He's right. The only thing that matters now oh, whoa. is finding Ethan. What the f What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Well, I keep thinking that they're saying miners like people under the age of 18. That's just what I keep thinking of when they say miners, but they mean like actually miners. Got it. But also in this case, he yeah, is a miner. Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site. Basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. <gasps> oh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Aha. Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. Damn, I'm smart for picking all there. that up. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Yeah, I am. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. I Let's am a, a genius. Look, I'll figure it out. 
because I'm okay. a genius. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. Girl, how? How do I do that? First of all, I can't see shit. So... So, did Ethan? Oh, man. I think there's like a side door back there. I don't know. You can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go, me. I'm so it. I am so it. You figured that out from a comic book. I love that I'm like kind of drunk too. Like I took a shot. I took two shots. And I drank a beer with my brother. So I'm like lit. That's funny. I'm going to try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Girl... Sure. Piece of cake. Can't we just go home and watch The Bachelor? <laughs> like, who? <laughs> Ethan must have come through here. He'll be fine. How did he get out? <laughs> He'll be fine. Anne? You okay? I'm sorry to call you at work. I just came home from the doctor. I couldn't wait for you to come home. Baby doll? Who's that? I, I'm pregnant, Jed. <gasps> pregnant? Anne, Jed's wife, Ryan's mom. Where did she go? Sketch? Okay. Yeah, that's giving. That's giving. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Pretty sure. Pretty, pretty, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> I'm looking pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. Uh, 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 uh. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm pretty, pretty, I'm pretty. Pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Pretty sure. I'm pretty. We passed caution like an hour ago. Okay, first of all, I can't see shit, so give me a break. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where the fuck are you, Ethan? You piece of shit. Not in the comic. Okay, sorry. Damn, I can't see anything. Did he jump out the window? The silo. We're getting close. All right, we're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking. Cooking, 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 cooking. Ooh. Wow. That's what's up. Bum 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 bum. Okay, it's giving. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. I think I'll find another way through. Girl, what? Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Okay. Yikes. Calm down. <laughs> it looks like Ethan climbed his way out the conveyor belt from the Maybe silo. There's some way to open the door. It looks like. Hey, you guys. Heads up! It looks like that Ethan Vivian is on the thing I may have found. <laughs> you figured out the door! Yeah. No shit, bitch. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Literally. Never cease. Okay, now what, ho? 
find an alternative to hurling yourself through a window. Okay, relax. Check the silo. Okay, relax. Getting close. Okay, relax. I don't know how to. What the, f what the fuck do I do now? I'm confused. Can you go faster? If I could see shit, that would be nice. But I can't. So. Wasn't in the comic. Okay, fucking. Yo, I can't fucking see! Life is a highway. Time to get out of this creepy Okay, I'm trying, building. ho. I'm really trying. So. Life is a highway. I wanna ride it all night long. Wait, why can't I figure out how to leave? Holy shit. Oh my god, I can't even see the screen. Okay, that's better. Girl, how the fuck do I leave? Oh, here we go. Found ya. Ryan's waiting for me by the door. Yeah, I'm here. What took you so long? Your mom. You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Shut up, handsome. Where to next, Alex? Your mom. Life is a highway. I'm scared. <laughs> Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. We're gonna get That's eaten. That's ravine. Shit. Let's go. Shit. Life is a highway And I wanna ride it all night long Bow. If you're going away. Is the whole game just us trying to find this kid because I suck? We close? Think so. Ethan! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god, is that him? <gasps> Ethan! He can hear you, chill. Alex! I'm scared! Yeah, what? How did you get over there? Are those Playboy magazines? Ethan, I'm coming for you, buddy. Wait. He's just. Hold on. Here. Ethan? You okay? Oh god. Oh my god. Oh, you're Don't gonna worry, die. Get you out of here. Just hang on. Oh, Jesus. Dude, why don't you just... Yo. No! Don't, 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 don't! Oh, God. This fear is so strong. If I get near it... It's no good. Oh, the panic attack. We're too heavy. Oh, God, so I have to do it? Shit. Great. This is what I get for lying. What about Karma. Me? Alex, uh, are you sure? Oh, my brother's so hot. Yeah, I can do it, Daddy. I mean, brother. That's so weird. I gotta stop saying that. Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. Huh? Do not... Do not make this okay. my responsibility. I'm okay. I'm cool. I'm cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. You I'm sure? So cool. It's okay if you're not. 
No, I'm good. No, I'm fine, bitch. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. Yeah. Yeah, what? Okay. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? No, you're terrifying. I'm gonna and tie this rope around your waist. Ugly. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll oh use God. that stump as a fulcrum. The feed rope, your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, <coughs> slow is steady. Steady's fast. Okay. Piece of cake. Yeah. No big deal. No big deal. Oh my god. Girl, don't die. I'm just channel your inner gymnast. I'm coming. Channel your inner gymnast. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, Sarah, you're back on the balance beam. You got this, Alex. You're back on the balance beam. I'm not going to get hurt and neither are you. Period. I'm literally risking my life for you and you're going to back talk me? I know I am. If an earthquake happened, oh my god. Hey, Ethan, I'm here to help, okay? Or if my brother, like, Kill sneezed me. or something. <laughs> it's too much. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> what? Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here! I was so stupid! Yeah! Okay, hey, hey, focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. A log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Uh, Gabe is our anchor. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. Let's meditate, we can't Queen. Stay here, Ethan. We have to. It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What? It? It'll see you. You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, God. I'm gonna have a panic attack. I can't believe this is happening. Girl. Here we go. Let's tap into this little kid's fears. I can do this. Please, get off the log first. Are we kidding? Get off the log? Question mark? Go where he is? Question mark? Oh my god. What's happening? It's like I'm seeing the world through his eyes. Oh God! What? I thought I could hurt the monster, but it's time to meet the monster. I'm not just feeling what Ethan feels, I'm seeing the world like he sees it. Huh? 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 I'm bored and wouldn't be afraid, but he's just a story. This is real. This kid's crazy. They brought all this I stuff. Brought all this stuff. None, of None of it will save me. Save me. Okay. 
He's not afraid of the fall. Is this kid just high? Like, did he accidentally just smoke some weed? Like, this is giving paranoia. Oh my god. Can't let it see me. Can't let it see me. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. He's on edibles. Yo. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? Because we have Jesus. You see him over there? <laughs> no, what the fuck is that? It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing, just like my warden. Yeah. I thought that was just a story. No, bitch. Hell, some stories are true. Like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, alright? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. He just barfs. What is this kid's issue? What? Is he a demon? Like, what? So we got another Don't little kid down, demon okay? in the Life is Strange series. You know it. We got Daniel, we got this kid. Oh my god, please don't. If he sneezes or farts or... One step at a time. Bruh. Oh my god. I got a fart. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? I'm not gonna let go of you. Just do not. Do you think the log will break? I don't know. Oh wait, if I shouldn't have does, said that. I'm gonna hold on to you so tight, okay? Okay. We're almost there. Just stop asking questions. We're so close, kid. Is this as fast as I can go? Oh, we're so close. We're so close. We're so close. I feel like the kid should have gone in the front, right? <gasps> no! Oh my god. The kid should have gone in front of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kid gets a cramp in his leg. He gets like a Charlie horse. Yes. My palms are sweating. Yeah. I need a nap. <laughs> that was crazy. But I just saved that kid's life, so he has to like me now. God, he's so hot. Of course. Wow. Okay. <gasps> oh! Did my brother- Oh, shit! No, 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 no way, no way, nope, did my brother just die, oh my god, did my brother just die, oh my god, oh, are you kidding me?
Would he have died anyway? Stop. You're lying. Okay, let's let's see the stats. Let's see how well I did. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed. Would he have died if I would have told him where the kid was going? Did we have to do any of that? Okay, so the first one, Alex told Gabe about Ethan's plans, and Alex kept Ethan's plans. So that was like a pretty 50-50 choice between everyone. So if you guys don't know, these are the world stats between everyone who's played this game before, and these are just the decisions that people made, okay? And I was in the 49% Alex kept Ethan's plans to herself. And you know what? I'm still gonna rock with that. I think that um, if I told Gabe about Ethan's plans, then Ethan would have resented me. But now it doesn't fucking matter because my brother's dead. So I wonder what would have happened if I told Gabe about it. And if we could have prevented this entire situation? I don't know. Uh, Alex told Riley the truth about the fight. Yeah. I feel good about that. 66%. I feel really confident in that. I am in the higher percent percentile. I don't know how to say that. Alex told Gabe about her power. Yeah, 69. Thank you. I feel really good about that too. I'm glad that I'm with the majority of people, but also at the same time, just because I'm in the majority of the people, does that mean that that's the correct answer? I don't know. Alex hugged Gabe on the bridge, 95%. Yeah, you're a fucking sociopath if you didn't hug Gabe on the bridge. Oh, Alex advised Riley to show off in her- Oh, damn. I did advise Riley to show off in her- yeah instead of encourage her to be honest yeah but you know i was just trying to like give some of my personality alex put cool sunglasses on the gnome period alex didn't stop at the listening station the only reason why i didn't stop is because i didn't want my video to be copyrighted okay alex told ryan that gabe was a badass duh that's my brother i'm trying to hype him up God, now I'm sad because he's probably dead now. Yeah, Alex rocked out with Gabe on the broom, period. What was the other option? Alex looked on as Gabe jammed on the... What the fuck? How awkward. And I wonder how that situation would have happened. Only 6% of people got that. Alex looked on as Gabe jammed on the broom guitar. Ew. Those vibes are not it. Alex found evidence of Gabe's search for her. Yeah. Alex expressed pe Oh, wait, I'm in the 26% for this one. Alex expressed pessimism about Haven to Charlotte. Did I? I only said- I- Okay, listen. I remember this conversation, and I remember only saying that because I just beat up this fucking man named Mac, and I was just in a terrible mood. So when she asked about my tattoo, I was just like, honestly, right now- it's a bad vibe just because of what I went through. It's nothing about this town. It's nothing about you. It's nothing about my brother. It's just the fucking vibes that I'm in right now are not good. And I'm going to be honest. But other than that, I was very optimistic about Haven. I wasn't trying to be pessimistic. She was just asking about my tattoo. Okay. Alex went along with Gabe's story. Oh my god, I'm in the 49% of that? I only did that because I didn't want them to think that Gabe was a liar. So I was trying to protect my brother. And I was trying to protect his reputation. Which I guess that doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Because he's dead now, I think. Allegedly. We don't know, but... That's tea. Like, I, like, lied just to protect his reputation. And I didn't give a fuck about mine. Hmm. Okay, Alex told Gabe she loves the guitar. Duh. I'm a good person. Okay. Oh my god, I'm in the 11% for this? Jed figured out Alex has never been a server before. What? I'm really confused about that because I did everything right. I did all of the tasks. So why would he say that I wasn't that good when I literally did everything right? Fuck you, Jed. So now Jed thinks I'm a liar. Great. Steph lost to Alex. Yeah, 36%. I can't believe that I did that. Like, I can't believe that I got that right, honestly. That was pretty slay of me. Okay, Riley broke up with Mac after the fight. Yep. Thank you. 67%. Damn, it's kind of crazy that there was a 33% where they're still together. That's interesting. Ducky was reunited with his favorite whiskey. Of course he was. I got you, Ducky. I hate the name. Actually, it's kind of cute, Ducky. Okay, cute. Love that. 
Okay, you guys, that is going to be it for today. I had such a great time playing the music in the background. I had so much fun playing today. I feel like I'm in church. Like I'm like the youth pastor. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for coming out. Um, this has been a beautiful, beautiful journey so far. Hopefully I didn't kill my brother. Um, that would be very tragic because he was the hottest character in the game so far. Even though I shouldn't have to say that. Because <laughs> that's very fucked up and wrong on every single level. But you know what? He's not actually my brother. <laughs> He is just a character in the game, and I am allowed to be attracted to him, so I'm going to continue being attracted to him, even though I am playing as his sister. Uh, just try to separate those two things as I'm saying that. But anyway, I hope that I didn't kill my haughty brother. I hope that he's still alive and can help me through this journey, because if I lose him... <laughs> Who do I have? Who the fuck do I have on this earth? Ryan? <laughs> that is the last person that I want by my side in this game. I would rather get hit by a rock than be with Ryan the rest of the game if I can't have my brother. So, are you going to stick me with that preteen child that I just saved? Because I don't want to go through that either. I really don't. I am over being a little boy's sidekick and then getting screwed over in the end. I'm tired. So let's hope that that's not the case. Um, I'll, I'll make a new one next week. Okay. All right. I love you guys. This has been a great game so far. I'm enjoying it. It's like peaceful and chill. Like I'm just like vibing, but now it's getting serious and scary. So I'll see you guys next week.